the Eyre Peninsula Natural Resources Management Board has prepared a new water allocation plan for the Southern Basins and Musgrave prescribed wells areas. A water allocation plan, or WAP for short, is an important document that allows for the management of groundwater in these two areas of Eyre Peninsula. The WAP allows for managing the taking and use of water for things such as public water supply, for example drinking water in our homes, commercial irrigation and mining related activities. Importantly, the WAP aims to minimise the impact of water taking on other water resources, groundwater dependent ecosystems and existing groundwater users. The WAP also aims to minimise the risk of increasing groundwater salinities and of seawater entering coastal aquifers. In the southern basins and Musgrave prescribed wells areas, groundwater is found underground in a series of aquifers which are water bearing rocks and sediments. These include the Quaternary Limestone Aquifer, the Tertiary Sands Aquifer, the Jurassic Aquifer and the Basement Fractured Rock Aquifers. Within these aquifers there are areas that are saturated with water and other areas that are unsaturated or dry. The most important aquifer in the prescribed wells areas is the Quaternary Limestone Aquifer, which consists mainly of ancient sand dunes trapped in old valleys. These aquifers contain low salinity and brackish water and are readily recharged by heavy rainfall during the wetter months. The water in these aquifers occurs in the pore spaces between the sand grains and leaks through their base, eventually flowing out to sea. When there is little winter rainfall, the aquifers continue to leak and the water table falls. When there is lots of winter rainfall, the aquifers fill up faster than they leak and the water table rises. The fresh water that is found in these aquifers is vital for the security of Air Peninsula's water supply and our industry and communities. It is from these aquifers that we source the water for our public water supply and other activities such as irrigation. One of the most important roles of the WAP is to provide a balance between water available for human use and water available to the environment. There are a range of different ecosystems that rely on groundwater to survive. These are known as Groundwater Dependent Ecosystems, or GDEs for short. GDEs include such things as wetlands, salt lakes, springs and estuaries. There are also other GDEs on Air Peninsula, including ecosystems below the ground and in caves, as well as some that are found in marine environments close to the shore. Examples of Air Peninsula's GDEs include some red gum and water gum communities, along with wetlands such as Lake Hamilton near Elliston and Sleaford Mere south of Port Lincoln. The WAP establishes an annual volume of water that the Minister entitles water licence holders to extract each year. However, this doesn't include groundwater that is extracted for stock or domestic use or other special uses such as emergency firefighting and public road making which are authorised by the Minister. The total volume of water that can be extracted is calculated each year according to trigger levels. These are key levels of storage that are needed to ensure the sustainability of the aquifer. A range of factors affect these trigger levels and an explanation of how this is calculated can be found in the Guide to the WAP on our website. A wide range of monitoring is undertaken to help understand the impacts of groundwater extraction and determine the amount of water available for extraction each year. Put simply, if you don't measure it, you can't manage it. The Air Peninsula NRM Board have prepared a Monitoring, Evaluation, Reporting and Improvement Plan, or MERI Plan for short, to accompany the WAP that aims to measure and assess the data that is important for understanding the hydrogeology of the region, environmental assets and water use. The MERI Plan also aims to assess how well the WAP is working and if it meets its objectives. This information will be used to help inform the review of the WAP every five years. The Water Allocation Plan for the Southern Basins and Musgrave is a comprehensive plan that's been developed to ensure the long-term viability of Air Peninsula's groundwater while minimising the impact of water taking on other water resources, GDEs and existing groundwater users. A significant amount of research has contributed to the development of the WAP and its policies. 
We have also listened to the community and incorporated much of their feedback into the plan. This water allocation plan will allow our unique groundwater resources that allowed our region to be developed to continue to support our community and way of life, while supporting the important ecosystems that depend on them.